Hello Lilas, welcome back to my channel guys. Today I am here with Phoebe and Nevada. And Phoebe is the Willow Awake kit, sculpted and poured by Claire Teller dolls. And, well, sculpted by Claire Teller and poured by Claire Teller dolls. I guess that's the way you should say it. Um, she was painted by myself. And Nevada is the Jalen sculpt by Georgia Pagot and was painted by Angela Plitka. Um, and these are two of my little ones I keep normally close by, usually in my room. So I kind of, sometimes I kind of coordinate the babies that's in my room, but I wanted to answer a question, um, that I get often when people are just getting into, um, one medium over the other rather it's getting into silicone usually they're going into silicone and they already have vinyl babies it's like can they lay beside each other yes um the the story is is that silicone and vinyl should not be touching um for long periods of time um, doesn't mean that they, they can't lay in the same crib or they can't be like, they both have on clothes, so they're not really making contact. Um, I've heard different stories. I heard that that's more of, um, the like clay or something. I don't know. But anyway, I just, whenever I hear stuff that seems so like dramatic or extreme, uh, results I don't do it that's just like latex uh, pacifiers with silicone I don't use them on my silicone babies even after they're fully painted and you know matted and all that stuff because the uh, latex silicone um, inhibits the I mean I'm sorry, sorry let me say it. the latex pacifiers inhibit the silicone from curing is what the story is and I believe that to be true. I, I have laid a latex pacifier next to my regular pacifiers and it turned the other pacifier nipple totally yellow. So I was like, uh, yeah, I don't want to do that with my doll. And then you don't know if you ever need touch-ups or something like that. People are like, oh, it's fine after it's cured. But what if you ever need a touch-up or something like that? And then now whoever you get to do that probably won't get to be able to get the paint to cure like it's all those different things so I don't bother with that um as far as um but them two like laying beside each other the other question is okay well then if they're not supposed to be beside each other like that can they share the same clothes so originally I will be honest I used to be like um okay this is for this baby that's for that baby mm -mm. now if they if I might take that outfit right off of another baby and put it on Phoebe um I've never had an issue with it I mean they share clothes in this house they're siblings <laughs> if she got it you got it <laughs> but so I haven't had an issue with that um other thing I cleaned their eyes and I just did Phoebe eyes because sometimes I forget about that I don't know why I forget about that is I take a q-tip and I wet it with water, damp it, you know, and then I just clean their, their eyes out. Um, you can also do the same with their ears, you know, and this is both Reborns and Vinyl. Um, with her, you know, if she gets dusty, I would just, you know, in her corners or whatever. If not, if I don't use that, I use a very soft paintbrush, unused paintbrush, and I, 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 I dust in their eyes. I don't wet it or anything for my reborns. And I just dust out. Now you guys know that silicone can go in water. So you really don't have to worry about that as much. You can just take the whole baby and give them a little a wash, you know, with water. Don't rub them dry. Just let them either air dry or pat gently um, them dry. And I at this point don't use any type of soaps or anything like that powder um some people still powder their babies today their silicone babies today and honestly 
I used to love that and I used to do it. And I didn't really have any problems with it other than the fact that your baby starts to get this build up on them and they have this residue on them which makes their paint look dull um, because they have this white film coating their paint. And I guess you could just rinse it off over time and get it, you know, off and then start fresh later. Um, I kind of think, now this is just my thought press, I think that powder over time might actually make them start to get a little bit of shine. But people are using a, using a matting powder. A lot of people swear by the, uh, the D3 Just Matte. Um, I have not used that yet. Um, oh, but I did use it one time, um, a while back I used it and it worked fine. And I did like the way it made the baby feel. If you like that real silky feel, it does do that. Um, I didn't have a problem with it. I didn't use it long and I didn't use it on a, like, um, that baby had a few little issues. A lot of issues it was a boo-boo baby and I don't know if they it was properly matted or not but I I brushed it down with the d3 just matte and it felt like it was matted so um I actually I, I'm not against it at all I just don't have enough experience to really validate it but like I said a lot of the ladies swear by it in the community and a lot of artists actually sends um that home with their silicone babies um when they paint because they um they're like well um you know you might miss a shine a shine spot or something like that and they they send it home to the mommies or if the the baby gets a shine spot over time because everybody knows that we dress our babies like crazy and you know if you you know, some some babies will last for e forever with their matting, and some you know you might see a shine spot or something pop up here or there, and people just you know a lot of collectors are like they don't want to just keep sending their babies out, and they just use the um, the matte powder. So um, that's one thing. Um, but I I I do want to try it. I think I am gonna try it one day. To see how, how that goes. Um, the other thing is um, putting dark colors on your babies. I know we love the reds and the blues and the deep purples. And some people like black and all that. You, rare, you will rarely find my babies in dark colors. And if they do, they usually have something underneath it. Um, Sometimes... I might put on a darker skin baby <laughs> on darker clothes because I feel like they will, it'll be okay. But usually even them, I'll put them under with something under them. Um, if I do, I just stay away from it. Some people say wash the clothes first, see if they bleed, you know, do the rub test against your skin or something like another piece of cloth and see if color dye transfer over I just to be on the safe side just don't really do it as often and if I do I put like um pajamas or long sleeves or something or whatever under it to protect the baby um what else the uh, the same thing with hand mitts and stuff I saw a lady posting the other day and she was like I don't know why I just got this baby and the fingertips are turning blue and everybody in the forums I didn't even comment because everybody already said it what I was thinking it's color transfer from something you put on and then she had it laying on like a dark blue blanket or something like that it was either that or like a long sleeve shirt or something where you see slid the arms down or the dye from these hairs some mohair and human hair bleeds I try to stay away from those hair, the peop that type of hair, the, the hair that I use most um, so far, fingers crossed, um, do not bleed color or anything like that. And when I use a human hair, like Taraji, Taraji is um, straight, um, 
virgin hair, no dye is in the hair that she has. That's a natural hair color, human hair color in her that she has. So there's no such thing as dye leaking because there's no dye in that particular brand of hair. So I try to do that. Um, Sometimes it costs you a little bit more, but it's worth it because I'd rather pay $20, $30 more for my hair than to um, have it ruin a $500, dollars $20,000 doll, okay? Um, so that's, that's another thing. Another thing is a lot of people, I know you guys love your shoes and your fancy shoes and all that stuff. You want to look inside your shoes. Let me see if I got it. Because most of my shoes they usually have in the sole of them, they're usually like white or a light color. But you see that black writing in there? Sometimes I don't trust that. But um, I'll be honest, um, uh, Zora wore these and, well, I think um, Taraji had on shoes under it. But Zora wore these without socks but um these are baby gap and a lot of times the higher the quality doesn't mean it won't happen but the higher the quality is the less likely it's going to be bleeding color okay um you got shoes and stuff from the dollar store not picking on the dollar store but that stuff is more likely to bleed than something from gap or um h&m and places like that um, but you still just usually probably just put a sock on it or put something in the bottom of the shoe. Like a, you can cut out a piece of white fabric or something that's going to protect the baby foot when you put on a shoe. Like because not every shoe is meant to wear with a sock and like sandals. That's a, another thing, you know, stuff like that. Um, and here's another thing with the shoes. Rubbing those shoes on and off and forcing those shoes can be problematic, okay? Um, we're, no matter how much we love our babies and we, we want to treat them like babies, we want to dress them, we want them to be cute, they are still works of art. They are still paintings. They are 4D, 5D paintings. <laughs> Don't, don't quote me on that term. Y'all be like, it's not a 4D, 5D painting. Okay. But, um, so all the shoes and back and forth, back and forth, that could possibly cause an issue. The same with pacifiers. People love pacifiers. I love pacifiers. But this pacifier is dry and her mouth is dry. And rubbing it in and out could possibly start to um, affect her, her her painting or her her ceiling coat or her her lips, her little gloss. Um, it happens a lot with silicone babies when it comes to the lips, in and out with the bottle, the friction. I love pacifiers. You can use um, the KY, the original. Um, not Vaseline, but KY, a little, just a dab on here, I'll rub it on the nipple and it'll slide right in. I used to use powder, but then they look like they ate powdered donuts a lot of times and I, I, that got on my nerves. But after so many uses with that KY, it's good to like wipe out their mouth real good with a damp cloth or whatever, or take a Q-tip and again and clean their mouth out the residue from the KY, but you know, try to use something. Don't try to just keep forcing it in without, you know, using something to to help it glide across the lips so it don't create so much of a, a friction. Um, I personally like pacifiers for props. I have been using um, pacifiers on her a little bit more because I she actually looks kind of cute with it. And so, but... I don't like use them all the time and if with silicone here's another thing with silicone poop poop if their mouth is closed like this 
and you keep leaving a pacifier in their mouth for long periods of time, it will gap their mouth open a little bit and it will leave it open permanently. Um, but <clears throat> the one thing that Claire does a lot with her little kids is that she, she gives them open mouths. If you notice, most of her babies have open mouths and well, the kids, um, it is not going to affect her if I leave the pacifier in her mouth, really, because her mouth is already gaped open a little bit. Not like wide open, like, you know, crazy open, but you know what I mean. And um, so that's fine. Um, but yeah, same thing with your reborns. You, the ones that have the modified pacifier, where you can take a modified pacifier, if you can still do a magnetic pacifier, some, I, for me, like if their lips are not in a tooted way and stuff, I sometimes will still put a magnet in if I can make it work with the lips. But if not, I will use a modified pacifier, but make sure that that T is very, very, you know, cut down as small as you can without it being where it's going to fall out when you lean the baby over. Um, just so, where is the pacifier? Uh, what did you do with it? Taraji had it. I mean, not Taraji, Zora had it. Oh, well, I don't know what she did with it right now, but I'll find it later. But just, just so you don't keep rubbing against their paint um, either because... Um, this is one with this is not the one I wanted, but um, I love the way um, Angela Plicka did with this pacifier. She um, she cut it and she like sealed it together. It looked like maybe some type of putty or something like that. So it's very flat. She made it flat, and I like that. Um, very nice trick, and it just it goes right in, and it's not like it's forcing anything on her so I, I I love that um one thing I've learned too and I, I'll say this and um I'm not shading anyone because if I was shading anyone it would be shading myself as well um <clears throat> one thing I've learned about some of these very very exquisite high-end artists uh like Angela Plicka and Blura Baby and stuff like that 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 prices are a lot more above the average prices um, they they take a lot of specialized time in their babies I'm gonna come back and talk about that in another video but if you have any more questions about the babies oh last thing drinking wet use water only please people <laughs> um, if you decide to use something else that's on you totally I won't judge you for it I get it. Sometimes giving them a water bottle just don't look as real as milk or whatever. But you don't want that stuff getting down in those tubes that you can't get into and, and, and clean. Um, there is a thing where you can feed them like straight, like regular rubbing alcohol, so to speak. And, you know, so that it can kind of cleanse the tube or make sure everything dry out the tube as far as like for me. You do it every now and then just for the water. So if it's any water sitting there, alcohol is going to make everything evaporate um, for that. But if you, bacteria and mold and all that stuff is created by like sugars and bacteria and all that. Water, just plain water. Have you ever seen plain water in a water bottle mold? It doesn't do it. Okay. Anyway, I'm, I rest my case. I'm done with that subject. But um I'm going to move on. If you guys have a question, let me know. I'm going to get on and talk about uh, prices and high-end reborns and silicones. Next topic. Bye. Oh, hit the thumbs up, the like, and don't forget to subscribe if you have not. Leave in the comments if you made it to the end. Thank you.